Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, nitrite ion, the loose structure of the nitrite ion, which is uh, NO2 minus. So here we go. Uh, NO2 minus. Okay, so this one is going to give us nitrogen has five valence electrons plus the two times six valence from the oxygen plus one from the charge. So that's going to give us a total of 18 valence electrons. And we can use the trick that I like to do in this case. So we can subtract the largest multiple of 8 out of this total. So I subtract 16 gives us 2. D uh, divide that by 2 is, gives us 1. And this was 8 times 2. So this shape is going to be AX2 from this. E1, where there's one electron group on the one one pair of lone, of lone electrons on the the central atom and two bonding atoms attached to it, so that's going to be the, the the two oxygens. So let's go ahead and try to draw this. We have uh, nitrogen in the center and then two oxygens. Okay. Now we, we can go ahead and start by connecting everything with a single bond, and then we can fill in everything on the oxygens. So if we count these bond, these um, electrons up, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now we're still short by 2. Now both oxygens have their eight, their full octet, so we can go ahead and put that 2 right here on the nitrogen. Now, if we look at this, this has the 18 valence electrons, but the nitrogen only has 6 electrons, so it's 2 short of its full octet. So there's one thing that we can do to fix this. We can move one of these electron pairs and, and make this a double bond. So now there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 electrons and each um, each atom has its full octet, full 8 electrons. So now don't forget we also have to include the, the square brackets because it's an ion so it's minus. So that's going to be a correct uh, Lewis structure. However, if you notice how we move these two electrons to make this a double bond, what's to say that we couldn't have done that to this one, to this um, oxygen here, and make this a double bond instead of this one? And the answer is we can do that. This is what is called a resonance structure. So it's actually going to consist, this Lewis structure is going to consist of two different Lewis structures, or we have two different setups, where we have, um, this is going to be the single this time, and this is going to be the double. So in this case, there's actually two correct answers, and they're both needed to fully describe how this this um, compound is going to be drawn. So now you have this this example here, which has the, the double bond on on the left oxygen, and this example that has the double bond on the right oxygen. So let's go ahead and check formal charges to see that this works out. So let's see the formal charge. On, let's call this oxygen 1, oxygen 2, and 1 and 2. So this is 1, this is 2, 1, 2. So oxygen 1 on the first one here. Formal charge is 6 minus number of bonds is 2. Minus number of, of non-bonding electrons is 2 and 4. So that's 4. So that's 0. Um, formal charge on the nitrogen is going to be five, five valence electrons minus one, two, three bonds minus the two non-bonding, so that's minus two, zero, and then the formal charge of oxygen two is going to give us six minus one bond minus two, four, six electrons, that's negative one, and if we sum all these up, it gives us a minus one overall charge which matches the charge on the ion. So then this is a correct drawing. And if you notice, this is also the, the these formal charges are also going to apply to this these atoms as well, except one and two are going to be switched. I'm sorry, one and two here are, are going to be switched. Because the two on this one has the double bond, whereas one over here had the double bond. So the sum is both going to be equal to negative one, which is what the charge is on the ion. Okay. So now we can go ahead and um, talk about the shape, which since it was AX2E1 up here, 
that's going to be a uh, bent shape with um, angles of 117 degrees between the bonds. Okay, and uh, this is going to be a uh, polar compound because you have this lone electron pair up here that's going to offset the um, charge distribution within the molecule and it's going to make it a polar compound. Um, I believe that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.